Hey guys, what's going on? Today, this podcast is a little bit different. Normally, I go out there, and by the way, Brian has built an amazing business, but why it's different is because he actually helped me solve a problem, okay? And then I wanted to share it with a lot of you because I didn't realize this was a problem. And I'm realizing now, as I'm talking to Brian, why Brian is, is crushing it and killing it around the, and around the world, really, anywhere in the United States, is because he's able to do something that no one else can do. And now my resource, my friend who helped me in my problem is going to help you with your problem. Okay. So me and my wife, you guys know, if you've ever seen me on social media, we've got a beautiful house and we, it took us three years to build and it ended up taking five months too long in one area because the cabinet people, the people that were all the cabinets from said it was going to be ready by a certain time and it wasn't. And literally, we all sat for five months waiting for all of these cabinets we paid for. Mm -hmm. And by the way, my wife, she's a businesswoman. She got pissed off. She's like, you know what? I'm going to call these other cabinet companies because I'm going to find a way to get my cabinets. And when she called around to all the other places, the first thing they would ask is, how soon do you want these cabinets? And I couldn't believe that's what they asked. Not like, how can I help you? Or, you know, how can we serve you? Or what, what, we can make this better for you. It was, how soon do you want them? And we realized that when you go to order custom cabinets, quality stuff, nice stuff, guess what? The waiting list is insane. I can't believe it. But I, then I met Brian. And Brian literally, which I'm going to let him explain what he does in his business because he's the expert at it. He gets custom cabinets. The best not this crappy stuff, which he'll explain and get into that because he's the cabinet guy, okay? They're the cabinet experts, okay? They'll help you with design. They'll help you with remodeling, building. They'll make your stuff look unreal. Number one, property value goes through the roof. Number two, you love living there when you got a big, beautiful house, kitchen, cabinets, bathrooms, everything. He'll tell you everything he does, but they do it with speed, okay? We've partnered together. I've been inside, and I loved his company so much, we partner together because he's literally solving a lot of people's problem. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're listening to Brian talk about how they're quick and speed, right? Which obviously I told you about my problem with my wife, how we ordered the cabinets, we were building a house and it took us five additional months sitting and waiting on cabinets. This guy's quick, he's, he's speed. This guy moves faster than anybody else. Custom cabinets, quality cabinets at speed. Look, if you're building a new house, this is your chance to make sure that you get the cabinet you want and the best, number one. Or number two, if you want to remodel, some of you guys right now are like, man, I need to remodel. Or maybe you're a realtor or a real estate agent and you refer like, you know, good jobs to people. Right now, I want you guys to text Brian. You guys see the number below? Just shoot him a text whether you need some help or you want to build a relationship with him in any way, shape, or form. Guys, this is your opportunity. Don't get cabinets from anyone else in the world. This is the guy. Send a text below. Let's get back to the video. Remodels that they take too long causes problems in a marriage. People are upset. They're pissed off in a bad mood. Waiting to get into a house. Five months longer we sat in a rent house waiting to get into our house. Not fun. Okay, just because of cabinets. So, guys, I want to introduce you to my good friend, Brian. You may say, oh, I'm not going to do this. Listen to me. You need to listen to what he's going to say. I know a lot of you right now are thinking about doing projects in this shit next year. This is the guy you need to do them with. Number two, if you're a builder, you're a real estate person, you need to know his contact information right now, anywhere around the world. He's the best. And speed is what he's great at, but also the guy's a genius in the cabinet space. So um, you may say, well, man, this is a, a sales channel. Why are we talking about this? This guy's the best in the world at cabinets. And you guys get an opportunity to meet him. And every single one of you, all of you I know, live in a house, okay? And now you can have him as a connection to use him for anything you need. So Brian, I'm glad you're here. I appreciate it. I'm going to let you rip and just tell everybody what they need to know. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Andy. Bet, I appreciate bro. it. Appreciate it. So um, I was in that in that state of mind as well. When I we were building houses, I was a builder for for 15 years of my life. Um, and what would happen is we'd go out and we order our cabinets and and we'd wait eight months to get our cabinets. So <clears throat> we moved to Arizona and the same thing was happening out here. The difference out here was that uh, my wife and I, we started a remodeling company. We started flipping houses and um, 
we'd order our cabinets, and the first thing they'd say to us, they said, okay, so what kind of species of wood do you want? And I said, well, I don't know. You know, it depends what the designers want. So, so what was happening was we, uh, we got out there, we met with our first cabinet company, and uh, first thing they said, exactly what you said. Well, how, far, how fast do you need them? And uh, I didn't want that answer. Okay. When you're flipping houses and you're financing the house pr production on the way, all the way through, um, you're tying up a lot of money. So interest is occurring. occurring. So, so finally, I came home one day and my, my wife says to me, she said, Brian, why don't, we, uh, why don't we just start building some cabinets? You know, the stress of the flipping and all that stuff, you know, why don't we just start building some cabinets? Well, she th thought I was going to go out and do it out of my garage. Okay. So, um, so a week later, I'm already looking for property. I go out and I find a 10,000 square foot facility. Um, I come home, I'm all excited about it. I, I look at it and I say, I said, come on, jump in the car, I'm gonna show you something. Didn't tell her what I was doing. We went out, took her out to the first site that we were at um, and we were gonna re rent 10,000 square feet. She walks in and she first thing she looks at me, she goes, Brian, what are you doing? And I said, well, you said to open up a cabinet shop. She goes, no, man, I was talking about doing little odds and end cabinets, bookcases and stuff for people. I said, honey, we have a major issue on getting cabinets. So, so that's how the company started. So what we do at Dream Home um, is a little different. So coming from, again, a construction background and a high-end home background, um, I didn't want just normal cabinets, okay? That's what you're seeing. Yeah, I'm going to ask this because a lot of people, I don't want to lose anybody. People go into Home Depot, okay? They look at cabinets and they're thinking, this is going to be my best deal. For, for money cost effective. Mm -hmm. People go in and get custom cabinets for you, custom, better quality, Absolutely. and it's competitive with Home Depot. Absolutely, absolutely. I just want to say that to yeah. everybody, so just so you're aware, because yeah. people think, oh, he's the cabinet expert, the custom shop, I, uh, I can't afford that. Dude, you're gonna pay the same for crap, and that's why this guy's killing it, because there's no middleman, there's no brokerage, there's exactly. no nothing, he's handling it, and you can deal direct with him. Anyways, keep going, I yes. just want to explain yes. that, We're because U.S. made, I'm obviously. Yeah. Consumer, I'm thinking, oh, this is Lamborghini to Corvette. Absolutely, right. Yeah, absolutely. It is, but you don't pay more than a Corvette. Mo most mo the clientele we deal with, they're not very educated on cabinets. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we meet with we meet with them. Our designers meet with them directly. Okay, they come in, we sit down with them. We want we want to know their wants and their needs. Okay, um, everybody always said cabinets are for show. Okay, the first thing you do when you go into a house is you go to the kitchen. Okay? The wife always goes to the kitchen, and then she goes to the master bedroom closet and the bathroom. Okay? So, so we have to feel out what their wants and needs are. I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to make every cabinet so special to everybody that it was a furniture piece. Okay? And people say, well, furniture pieces cost a lot of money. Okay? They do and they don't. Okay? Since we manufacture everything in-house, we have the state-of-art equipment, we're faster than anybody out there, and we can do whatever you want. If you can dream it, we'll build it for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a slogan, it's the truth. We'll build anything that you can dream. Mm -hmm. So um, when you open up our cabinets, and I wanna, I wanna stress this because coming out here, I wasn't very familiar with, I'm from the Midwest, um, coming out here, I wasn't familiar with white melamine, okay? Because um, we just didn't see a lot of that in the Midwest. Um, every cabinet- Tell that, everybody what that is. Okay, so the, the cabinets, white melamine is a, is, a, is a product that is a particle board product it comes in normal, it comes in mutual like whites and greens and blues and blacks and reds and, and you can get it in kind of any different color right now, um, which is getting better. It used to, it used to be just white. It tends to be white a lot. It's, yes, yes. And, yep. and everybody goes to white because it's the less expensive way to go, okay? Um, so when you open up a cabinet, the first thing you see on the inside is a white melamine cabinet. Now the outside might look beautiful. Okay, and you can have any species of wood you want on the outside. So you can have a different painted color on the outside. You can have a stained color, which, which you can use an oak or a, or a walnut or whatever color species you want. Okay? Um, but everything out here that I've seen since I started out four years ago, we'd open up a cabinet and be white melamine. And I'd go into an $18 million house. You know, and there's not many, in the Midwest, there wasn't many $18 million houses and, uh, where I lived anyway. So you, know, you come out here, you open up a cabinet, and it's white melamine. White melamine in an $18 million house. And I couldn't believe And so I'm talking to some builders and I'm talking to some real estate agents. And I'm, you know, I'm asking them, what's your cabinet package cost? And everyone came to about 1% of the total cost of the house. And I'm like, wow. I mean, it's the most important thing in a house. It's the first thing everybody asks to see. So, so we're specializing in 
matching interiors. So, so what that means is our exteriors, whatever that color of wood or species of wood or painted color on the outside, our insides match, mm -hmm. okay? It's all in one. It's all one, yes. So you pull out a drawer box, it matches, okay? Now, keep in mind, so some people say, well, I don't care about the inside of a cabinet. Well, if you can actually have a matching cabinet inside and out that looks like a piece of furniture for not, not much more money, wouldn't you rather have that? Yes, number one, everybody just got that point. Second point, because me and him have walked into many houses and even brand new homes, you're like, dude, why did they shortcut this? Mm -hmm. And it's just because people don't know. And honestly, a lot of people don't care that are builders because they just want to get their money. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the customers need to know that all of you, you can get this. Second, let's talk about quality. Mm -hmm. Like the inside of these drawers, right? Like we open them and you're like, dude, why did they shortcut that there? Exactly. So, so. So a lot of drawer, drawer boxes, okay, when you pull out a, your drawer, okay, where all of your utensils are, a lot of those drawer boxes are half inch thick, okay? Sometimes you'll see a five eighths if you're lucky, okay? We do all three quarter inch drawer boxes. What's that mean? It's a stronger, it's a stronger box, okay? Mm -hmm. Our whole carcass of that box is all three quarter from our nailers and our stretchers. Everybody says, what's a stretcher, what's a nailer? The thing that attaches to the wall is your nailer, okay? That's what holds that, that big ass cabinet onto the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's three quarter. Every box, every side, everything in that cabinet is three quarter. Okay. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're listening to Brian talk about how they're quick and speed, right? Which obviously I told you about my problem with my wife, how we ordered the cabinets. We were building a house and it took us five additional months sitting and waiting on cabinets. This guy's quick, he's, he's speed. This guy moves faster than anybody else. Custom cabinets, quality cabinets at speed. Look, if you're building a new house, this is your chance to make sure that you get the cabinet you want and the best, number one. Or number two, if you wanna remodel, some of you guys right now are like, man, I need to remodel. Or maybe you're a realtor or a real estate agent and you refer like, you know, good jobs to people. Right now, I want you guys to text Brian, you guys see the number below, just shoot him a text, whether you need some help or you wanna build a relationship with him in any way, shape or form. Guys, this is your opportunity. Don't get cabinets from anyone else in the world. This is the guy. Send a text below. Let's get back to the video. And again, I want to reiterate, the inside of that cabinet matches. So if you're doing a, you know, you, you see all these Pinterest ads out there, you know, you, you see your house or whatever, you look at your house and you, and you see a Pinterest ad and everybody goes, man, that's a beautiful exterior. It's a walnut color, whatever. Oh, that's got to cost a lot of money. Then you open up the inside and you got a white melamine cabinet. So your whole box of that cabinet's white melamine, okay? So, um, and being in the cabinet business, people know, don't know exactly what cost sheet goods cost and stuff like that, but I'll just put a comparison. So, you know, a white melamine sheet good usually comes at four by eight, okay? Our cost is somewhere around 43 bucks, okay? A, a, a walnut or a rift white oak uh, sheet good four by eight will run about $160, okay? That's the comparison. So again, so when you go back into a million dollar house, whatever, whatever priced house it is, you know, you open up, your inside of that box is a third of what your exterior of that box looks like. And again, by the way, what I'm saying is, if that door, that door might be a rift oak or a walnut or a painted color, whatever you want, a shaker door or whatever, okay? But that box is basically a melamine cabinet with a particle, mm -hmm. particle board core, okay? Yeah, I wanna tell everybody this right now. Look, for every dollar you spend on a cabinet, you should be able to get $2 back Absolutely. and resell. Absolutely. If you do it right. So I don't care what you spend, doesn't matter, it's relevant. If you spend a buck, you should be able to get two bucks back. But if you spend a buck and you don't listen to what he's saying, you waste your money. Mm -hmm. And so like everything is truly an investment in a home. Homes increase in property value. And if you want to have a house that you want to live in that's attractive, that's different than others, that makes you feel like home, the cabinets do the job. Now, what all, what all parts do you do in a home? And then I want to get into the speed part. Okay. Because the speed part, listen, the fact that you make quality cabinets that are in comparison to money on cabinets that aren't as quality is a massive edge because all of you are spending money and we know money is important. Okay. So like using him, like he's not more money, but we're going to get to the speed part here in a second. But, but, but people, people think what, you are more money when you start talking you're custom not cabinets, more money, which is, you know, they a, think which is that, super yeah. important, which is why yeah. you guys can text that number and let them know what you want to do. And they'll help you with every step of the way and price it out and estimate it and all that stuff. Look, tell us what all you do in homes. Okay. So, so again, so, so, we're a design firm, 
Okay, that's number one key, okay? Um, so what's that mean? Anybody that's building a house, remodeling a house, um, they come to us, we'll help them with everything they need regarding a house, home, okay? From the, you know, my wife's a designer. We have an, another in-house designer that's got, you know, 20 years experience. Um, they'll help make all the selections you need, okay? Yeah, if you guys want to text also that number and say, hey, send me some before and afters Absolutely. of some of the projects, they're insane. Yeah. Totally insane. We take a lot of pride in, in, in yeah. that part of it because that's the first thing that people yeah. want to see, right? Yeah. And people don't know. No, no, they really I know, don't but know. once they see it, they're like, holy shit, I want my house. I can like do that. that, you know? Yes, yeah. and we can so do that. So, you're a design right? firm, right? And mm -hmm. then um, what all do you do? What all can you change? So, what all do you, yeah, you build? Yeah, so, so we do basically anything that's a millwork in a house closets, okay? I know there's a ton of the closet companies out there. Mm -hmm. Most of the closets you go in, I'm going to just read it on this. Um, touch base on this a little bit. Most of the closets you go in right now are open back closets, shelf and rods, side panels, that's it. All of our closets are full cabinet pieces, mm -hmm. okay? Meaning that it's no different than a kitchen, okay? But you got a rod, hanging rod in there, you got a belt loops, whatever, okay? You got pull out drawers just like a kitchen. So we do all of all the vanities in houses, floating vanities, furniture piece vanities. So if somebody comes to us and wants a really special powder room, that has, you know, furn it's like a furniture piece. It's curved. It's got legs, whatever. We do all that, okay? Any custom door you want, we do, okay? Um, mill work, we do a lot of uh, wall panels, ceilings, okay, fancy ceilings. The newest thing out there is now is kind of behind beds. You see wall panels. We do all that stuff. We design all that stuff in-house. Anything okay? wood. Anything wood. Yeah, absolutely. Anything yeah. wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. anything wood. So mm -hmm. you, make, you make custom barn doors, you can make any custom, custom bars, wood. everything you yeah, can think bars, of. Yeah, custom bars, anything wood. Yeah. We have, everything is done in-house. So again, when you talk, talk quality, our quality stays high. Yeah. That's first, because everything is, everybody that is employed by my company buys into what we're doing. Mm -hmm. They're real craftsmen, okay? Again, starting from our design team to our engineers who actually output the cabinets to go out to the shop for production to our, to our um, assembly guys and that are putting all the cabinets together. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys are going to see some B-roll on this on this video showing you, um, number one, his company, his culture, his shop, his team, uh, the equipment they use, millions and millions of dollars in equipment that, that are machines that run faster in speed than anyone else. His team starts at 5 a.m., and they work all day long, and he's got multiple shifts going that constantly keep running everything. That's why the speed is so quick. So everybody, when they, where I live, when they do a remodel, when they're, when they're building a home, they immediately get with Brian. Everyone does. Why? Because they get the best quality. It's the same as literally buying something with less quality. He takes a lot of pride in what he does. They can literally walk into the shop and see everything going down at one time. They can pick exactly what they want. They tell them what they want. They literally get that. They create it, they build it, and they do it with speed. So freaking quick. And time is a big deal, especially when you're under a remodel. Yeah. You know, you talked about interest and all that stuff. But, you know, like I know that you have lived, you and your wife, through uh, we're going to remodel this side of the house and we're going to live Absolutely. on this side. Absolutely. Dude. With yeah. dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. so like if supplies mm -hmm. aren't there, like that's a big issue. And, and supplies have been a big issue. Uh, but I don't know why custom, I don't know. And by the way, he's called the cabinet expert, right? But he's really the wood guy. I mean, he builds anything and everything in the house, but the cabinets are such a big piece in a home, especially for resale and just walking in, you know, like curb appeal to the outside of the house. This is like internal appeal. Like everything you see in a house, that's what you make that's attractive and sexy. And that's where your resale value comes. Yeah. That's where living in a home becomes awesome. That's where the aha, like that, Ah, oh, like you walk in and you're like, I love my house. That's the difference. You can get all the cabinets you want. This guy can make everything pop and be badass and cool, and it doesn't cost you more. Right. Um, let's talk about the experience is really cool too. Yeah, you know? the, the, yeah the experience is super cool. cool. You can come out to the shop. You can do a walkthrough with us. You can meet our staff, our team. Uh, it's great. And actually, when you go out and view and see your cabinets being cut, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah it's super cool. Amazing. And and let's talk about speed. Mm -hmm. Why are you so much faster without giving away all your secrets? I know you have millions of dollars in machines that a lot of companies won't buy, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, and you have a lot of, like, ways that you do things, which yes. you've told me a million times. But, like, why, how are you so much faster than everybody well, else? Well, let's, let's be honest with this. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're open up a cabinet manufacturing plant, you know, a lot of people that, are, that open up cabinet companies are carpenters, okay? So they go out, they think they get, hey, I'm going to start a business, Okay. 
like the old old days, they would they'd use table saws and chop boxes to build cabinets. Well, now that there's there's CNC's, there's all kind of cool things out there, tools that let you, let you build the cabinets a lot faster, right? So um, the key right now is we don't sub out anything, okay? So we control everything. Our speed is is crucial because once we get from design to engineering, it's a push of the button. It mm-hmm. goes right out to the shop. The CNC's start cutting immediately. We've also, we've taken it to one, uh, one step further. Um, the holdup on a cabinet manufacturing is the paint line, okay, or the finishing of the cabinets, whether you choose a painted product or a stained product. Again, that's just a species of wood, okay? But even if, let's just say, let's say somebody picks a light oak because that's the newest thing. Everything, everywhere you turn, every commercial you see, they show cabinets and it's a light oak color, you know, like almost a natural color. Um, that is not bought that way. That comes in raw material to us in full sheet goods, and then it goes to our spray line, okay? Our spray line is a million-dollar spray line, okay, with UV curing. UV curing isn't used much out here at all. In fact, it's, it's very expensive to do. Mm-hmm. It's an it's a education you have to really learn before you jump right into it. Um, the UV mach- machine alone, the dry lamp machine alone, is about $200,000, just for that. But what's that do t- for us? It takes eight minutes from the day that the time that it starts and gets fed through our spray line, okay? Our spray line has four heads and it sprays on your material. From there, it goes to a baking oven, okay? And it moves a whole bunch of air around, drying that product. All the, all the um, chemicals get drawn out of it, okay? Then it goes through the, the, the conveyor loops down to the UV curing. It's hit with fo- UV lighting immediately as soon as that comes out, it's completely dry to touch. Okay, so we're not waiting and days for that. And we're running through twice, right? And we're running through three times total, three depending. Times. Depending yeah. now, stain. On what kind now, of yeah, it, it depends. Yeah, if you're staining it, obviously the staining part doesn't have to go through the UV lighting. It's only the finishing, the, the top coats and the sealers go yeah. through that. And yeah. now, and even the painting. So if you pick a, a color, a white color, we we don't even order that, and we we paint all that in house. As soon as it hits that photo light lamp. It's dry to touch, and we're stacking. So what's that do for us? I mean, we're not waiting three days for that stuff to dry. Because mm-hmm. they say it takes 21 days for, for a paint coating to, to cure without, you know, scratching and, and fingerprinting, you know. And for us, depending on the, the, the climate you're working in, you know, the Midwest is obviously different than Arizona. You know, dry heat versus humidity, you dry know. Dry heat's great. Yeah, it takes a little longer in, in, in the Midwest to dry product, mm-hmm. right? So um, going through that UV curing was a was a game changer for us. Yeah, guys, I know you've seen some video of this happening. I sit there and I watch as the guys put it in and it runs around the whole company and comes back and they wait on it. They pick it up, drop it right back in and they let it run and everything is running just, it's, it's, it's just a machine. I don't know how you created it. I don't know how you made it. You know, when your wife said, go make some cabinets, you built a damn manufacturing plant. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to okay. tell you that it was easy. I mean, no, for no, no, sure. I didn't yeah. Say it was easy, yeah. but you built a manufacturing it, yeah. plant. It started out as, yeah, it started okay. out as like, you wanted to be a hobby, you know, for us. And, yeah. And, and then, and then, you know, Brian is, is psycho obsessed with he, uh, perfectionists. Uh, he's an OCD guy. Um, you know, he's ADD. I mean, he wants to do everything, but he's at OCD, which means whatever we do has to be perfect. Everything that he does is a piece of art. Right. Um, He's been a home builder forever. He's been a remodeler. He's been a flipper. The guy's been in homes his whole life. Right. I mean, he was making millions of dollars in his 20s, you know, doing great. And you know what? He's like, this is a need that there were as he's gotten older. Right. Um, And I'm not saying you're old, but as you've gotten older, (laughs) you're like, (laughs) you're like, no, but you're like, I want purpose. And he's doing what him and his wife has always loved. And his wife, Becky, him and him, they're just, they're amazing people. It's a family-owned business. And it's a giant manufacturing plant, right? And we'll put a picture of Becky up on here because she's hot and you married up. <laughs> For but, sure. But, For sure. But, but and I she want, puts up with my shit, too. Yeah, so. she puts up with the shit. But, but he's, he's cool. He loves talking cabinets. He loves, he loves seeing dreams come true, which is why, you know, dream home, right? Mm -hmm. Um, He's really running the whole home. But but the creator of a cabinet means this. You either do one of two things, okay? You leave it up to a builder. You get what you get. It's junk. If you're building a house right now, you can literally call him and say, hey, I'm I'm hiring a builder, a GC, but I want you to do my cabinets. Mm -hmm. Done. It's done. That way you know you're getting what you're getting, right? Number two, if you're going to remodel, and a lot of you want to and you've been waiting for it, Number one, it increases property value through the roof. 
for every dollar you spend, you're going to gain back two. And it's like unreal the transformations that this guy can do. I mean, I'm talking mind blowing. And then the speed the, the, and, and the affordability yeah. and the quality. Guys, every single person that's watching this, I don't care who you are in the world, you guys see that number on the screen, okay? Number one, you need to save that, that number in your phone, okay? And it needs to be like cabinet guy. That way you're thinking, this is my cabinet dude. And anybody in the world that you know that needs cabinets, that ever talks about remodeling, you're like, dude, you need to call this cabinet guy, right? Like, this is the guy, period. It needs to be saved in your phone, cabinet guy. His name is Brian, but you're not going to remember Brian when you need cabinets. But if you think cabinets, just cabinet. And then you just send him a text and he'll handle it. Now, a lot of you right now, um, some of you are in, you know, the home space. You guys need to have him as a contact. He's unreal. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're listening to Brian talk about how they're quick and speed, right? Which obviously I told you about my problem with my wife, how we ordered the cabinets. We were building a house and it took us five additional months sitting and waiting on cabinets. This guy's quick, he's, he's speed. This guy moves faster than anybody else. Custom cabinets, quality cabinets at speed. Look, if you're building a new house, this is your chance to make sure that you get the cabinet you want and the best, number one. Or number two, if you want to remodel, some of you guys right now are like, man, I need to remodel. Or maybe you're a realtor or a real estate agent and you refer like, you know, good jobs to people. Right now, I want you guys to text Brian. You guys see the number below? Just shoot him a text, whether you need some help or you want to build a relationship with him in any way, shape or form. Guys, this is your opportunity. Don't get cabinets from anyone else in the world. This is the guy. Send a text below. Let's get back to the video. And then number two, I say B to C, you know, on a personal level, being a client as well and, and a customer, he, I want him taking care of all my houses. I want him taking care of my house that I live in. And I want him taking care of yours. And you want him taking care of yours. And so, like, it was super important that I introduce Brian, you know, to the world. And so everybody can just stamp that my cabinet. I know you don't have a cabinet guy. No one does. <laughs> okay? And by the way, most carpenters and cabinet people are boring. And they're bland. It's just the truth. No disrespect. But this guy... He's yeah. cool. He's fun. He's, he loves his family. He's, uh, he's, he's all about making people happy. He's always about over delivering. What makes him happy is watching clients happy. And so anyways, I just, I wanted to introduce you to the world. You guys are going to see him um, with me a lot. You're going to see a lot of B-roll on this video of us going to his shop, talking to his team. You're going to see what his culture's like. And man, dude, you know, I, I learned this in life. Life is about relationships. Okay, it's not about this is the cabinet guy to save money and do this. And it, yeah, it is. But it's about building a relationship because now until you die, you may move into 15 new houses. You may move into 15 different places. You may have 30 friends right now that are all going to do something. I love it when somebody's like, hey, I'm having trouble on my taxes. And I'm like, dude, I got the best right. tax guy in the world. Bam. Bam. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, man, my wife's got a, you know, an, a, a, a gallbladder problem. My like, dude, I've got the best doctor for stomachs. He's the guy. Mm -hmm. He's going to fix that thing. They're struggling. I'm like, I got the guy. Bam. Somebody's like, dude, I'm, I'm wanting to invest. I don't know how to or where to put my money. And I'm like, dude, I'll get you 20% return. Text this guy. Bam. Mm -hmm. I, I have a Rolodex on my phone of just all the people that I need in my life for myself and for my friends. And everywhere I go, someone's always saying they need someone. I need a mechanic. I need this. I need that. And dude, the person that has the best relationships, that has the best Rolodex in their phone, that's the most valuable person. Absolutely. And so like, I just, when I see things like this, I'm always like, man, this is a good chance for a lot of you right now. Anything and everything in a home is wood. And now you find your guy. Mm -hmm. He's competitive with Home Depot, Lowe's, all these places that literally do cooker, cookie board cutter crap. Mm -hmm. Okay? You want, you want your stuff to look like everybody else? Fine. It'll have zero value. If it's not different, it'll have zero value. Your stuff, and, and price-wise, can, can be the same spending, and he can make your stuff look amazing. Yeah. And guess what? He can get it out quick. He can help you design it. And he may even help you see something that you don't even see yet. Because they're a design team. Yeah, we yeah we take a lot of pride. I'm gonna tell you one more another story. It's funny. So so when we started started the business, um, you know, my wife being a designer, you know, and and being in the construction world, we hate designers. 
Let's just mm-hmm. be honest, man, because sure. being a builder, no, no, it's, it's the it, worst. Oh, it, it's the worst. No, it's, it's good. It's good yeah. to explain this because yeah. since they since they know they hated designers, they're making sure that they're not those people that they hated. Mm-hmm. Okay, which mm-hmm. is why you will love them even more. Absolutely. So, like, you know, because we'd walk into houses we're buying, and she'd be like, "Hey, take this wall down. I need this wall down." And I'm like, "Hey, babe, this is a, it's a structural wall." can't just take it down no let's just take this walk because i see it this no you can do it brian and then she'll just walk out i know you can handle it. she'd walk out so when we opened up the cabinet manufacturing plant you know we had a lot of paint reps come in and the first thing which is normal in most cabinet companies they would say brian becky what's going to be your palette of colors and i would look first thing i do is i look at my wife because I don't want to answer that thing, because I know I'm either going to get kicked yeah. in the balls or I'm going to yeah. get an elbow thrown yeah. at me, right? So she'd go, palette of colors, what are you talking about? And he goes, you know, give me you know, five or six, seven standard colors you're going to use. And so weeks would go by and months would go by, and our, and our paint reps would call us, hey, I need those standard colors. i got to make a palette. And she's like, I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. I go, hon, we got to give him a palette of colors. And she's like, I'm not doing it. We're a custom cabinet manufacturer. Yeah. We'll why are we going to put, gonna put a, a yeah, why are we going to put in a box that people are going to come in? They got to select, you know, of these five colors, pick these colors. No, not doing it. So that's another cool thing about what we'll do. You come in, you meet with our designers, you pick a color, you bring us any color, we'll, ma- we'll color match it. We'll make a color that even if it's not out there, we'll make it. And then we'll put it on that, on that cabinet for you. So, um, but yeah, so it's, it's so kind of a neat So you break all the rules, basically. We, we yeah. tend to break a lot of rules. Yeah. yeah. So what Brian's saying yeah. is like, for real, like, listen, it's your house. It's your money. It should be cool. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't, I don't like when I'm told I can't do something, and that's the funny thing. I mean, like, even with the three-quarter-inch drawer boxes, we heard from our suppliers the same thing. We, no, nobody does three-quarter-inch drawer boxes, Brian. Can't be done. I go, what do you mean it can't be done? Well, I don't even know if we can get them. I go, you're a, you're a hardware supply guy, and you can't, we can't get three-quarters. There's nobody doing this. Sure enough, we found them. We're probably the only people that, that use the three-quarter-inch drawer boxes, but you know what? If there's a reason for that. Hey, and you know what people say? It doesn't matter. Well, because it's not their money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not their standard. But can I tell you something? Three-quarter inch drawer slides are less money than, than the half inch and five inch drawer box slides. Why? Because nobody uses them. It's the craziest thing. But people don't know that because they're not educated enough mm-hmm. in it. And that's the real, that's the real key. Guys, so. everybody wants a guy like Brian on their side and Becky, which is which his wife, when you guys are doing a remodel, when you're building a house, um, when you're designing something, you know, you can clearly tell how educated he is. But really on top of that, I know a lot of educated people I don't like. <laughs> I really like him. I really like his wife a lot. I like how much they care. I like how much they deliver. Um, I think that what this world needs is more people t- to give a shit. And this guy cares a lot. And they can do everything they say they can do, and they don't count on anyone else to make it because they make it themselves. So when they make a promise, they deliver on it because they create it, create it in their own manufacturing shop. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So super important, man. And uh, Brian, I just want to tell you, like, I appreciate you. Brian is just killing it. They're growing super fast. They're changing millions of people's lives. They're helping everyone and everyone's biggest stress. If you haven't had it. Okay, it's been in this cabinet uh, industry, in this cabinet space. And they're so innovative, right? Like Absolutely. when he said, like, don't tell me it can't be done. Tell me it can't be done and I'll do it. Mm-hmm. How many of you right now love that mentality, right? Like, tell me it can't be done. I'll make it happen. Don't you operate the same way? Well, he does that in business for you. So he's like, dude, you tell me what you want and I'll make it happen. That's like magic to my ears. And then I'm not going to charge you more for it. That's like magic to my ears. So guys, super important. I wanted to introduce my good friend, Brian, to everybody, right? You'll be seeing a a lot of him and me together. We're going to build this thing massive. And by the way, here's the cool thing. All it's going to do is help a lot of people around the world get nicer houses, have less stress. They're not spending any more money, have cooler shit, right? Literally increase their property values. And I want you guys to have him in your Rolodex. So you see the number on the screen right now, okay? Everybody, you save that. Tab, t- cabinet guy, and I want you to put text next to it. So anybody you know looking for cabinets, boom, they can just text that number. That's it. And then he'll reach out to them. They can let them know what they need, and they'll set up whatever. whatever. It's that simple. So you guys now know Brian. Um, Brian, I want to tell you I appreciate you, appreciate and I want to tell every single one of you, listen, I don't care when it is. At some point, you're going to need them. Somebody will need them. Save the number. 
And guess what? If you're in need right now and you're watching this, you're like, man, I was actually going to do something or I was thinking about doing something. Guys, let them help you. You'll be blown away. Trust me. Every one of you will DM me and be like, dude, thank you hmm. for sending me Brian. That guy's a game changer. And remember what I said at the, at the end. Everything that is super high value and super high quality usually comes at a really big price. And what I've learned in the cabinet industry is that you pay a big price for crappy quality and for like not get, getting taken care of and for like no speed, no quickness, no nothing. With him, the price is nothing. You get over delivery. They're literally the best people in the world to communicate and do business with and they love your dream and they're going to make it happen no matter what it is, big or small. Their, their quality is amazing. Their speed's through the roof. And then at the end of the day, it's all custom. Like they're not trying to say, do you want this one or that one? They're like, what do you want? Okay, cool. We're going to make it. Let's go. That's amazing. So guys, introduce yourself to Brian. Shoot him a text. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Um, he's just starting to work on his social media and all that stuff, but he's been, he's been busy helping people. So I was like, dude, everybody in the world needs to know who you are. So now if you guys want to reach out to him, it's through text and it'll help you with whatever you need. Guys, have a blessed day. Brian, Andy, thank I you. appreciate, appreciate you, man. Yeah. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you save Brian as a resource in your phone right now and put text next to it. Cabinets for life, it. right? Yep, here yeah. we go, baby. See you in the next video. Let's go. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. Yeah.